I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner in real time so you can follow along with me. Now today I wanted to show you how I use some of my um, mediums, some different mediums that I have here and that's coming right up so stay put. So the mediums that I use, I don't use them a lot but I do use them sometimes. This is one I got for my birthday for my hubby and this one is called Mother of Pearl Structure Gel and I'm going to show you how you can use this. Um, it's really really nice. It makes your paintings come out so much prettier. I just have a painting here that I'm going to be showing you and I uh, will be putting it on the head and the whites but you can use any colors and it will brighten it right up. See brightness, see how I, I use some on here and it brightens it up really nice and it makes it shiny actually make it shiny that it almost looks like an oil painting so that mother of pearl structure gel yep mother of pearl structure gel is a nice very nice medium and another one i have here that i also got for my birthday uh, christmas too um is a texture paste medium it's a medium and that is a very nice also these I'm not getting sponsored or I don't have any affiliate links to these you'll find them on Amazon I guess and um, the texture paste is nice it makes your paintings nice and texture you get more texture with your paintings and I'll be showing you all that so I have some more here for you so now I will show you how to use these mediums to enhance your paintings. So let's try the um, Mother of Pearl just to see how that will change. So I have my eagle here that I already have done. I'm not going to do a new painting. I'm just going to show you how to add your Mother of Pearl. So all I'm going to do is put my Mother of Pearl uh, structure gel that's what it's called and that will um, make it nice and shiny so I'm going to put a bit on my palette there it is messy palette and I'm going to take that structure gel and I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to add some structure gel to it and just see if that makes it shiny and enhances the color. So let's try it on the head here. There we go. And if you could see it in real life you'd be able to see how it shines. But this is really nice. Makes it nice and bright and shiny. Almost gives it an oil look paint. There we go. So nice and bright that is. So when that dries, now that will dry shiny. You can put on as much as you want. There we go. Good. We'll put it on, let's put some of it on the tail. Let's see what it looks like down there. Good. There we go. So we'll just put some on the tail. And that brightens that up really nice. I'm just using a flat bristle brush. You can use a flat chiseled edge brush. Probably would do better. When that dries, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. So I'm just adding it to my white paint to give it that shiny look. So that brightens it up really nice. Good. Now the next one I'll try is the textured paste medium. So you know, you can always experiment with things that you have around. And this is nice and thick because it's going to structure and give you more texture to your paints. There it is. So we'll add that. Boop, 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 be doop, and so we're going to take that texture paint, and we'll add that to our colors. Now you can use it 
uh, by itself if you're doing something white or if you want to make some green grass I'm just adding blue and yellow to make green and then I'm going to add the texture paint uh, see and see how that just thickens it up look look it even stands up see it stands up and you can put that on your grass and that will give it a really thick texture to your grass or anything that you're painting see I'll just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that I'm just tapping it on and I'll give it some nice grass up here get some more use as much texture paint as you want see how it doesn't turn completely white it just thickens up the colors that you already did so you have greens or blues or whatever you want to have more thick something like impasso so we'll just tap around a little bit of white coming out there which is nice brightens it up a little bit of grass going up here really makes it thick uh, acrylic paints are kind of thin you really want thick paint this is a good way to do it just tapping into my nice and bright we don't want it that bright just take your green and your green paint that you made from yellow and blue and add your texture to it texture paste stand right up see that that nice it won't change the color much it'll lighten it up a little bit but it just stands right up and you put that on there and you'll have some nice thick grass see I'm just going around my flowers and we can add some of that texture paint to the flowers too See? See how nice that is? Let's try adding the texture texture paste medium. So if you want to have your paints, like I say, acrylics are pretty thin. Some of them, you get the tube ones, they're pretty nice, nice and thick. And you take your I'm going to try a flower, so I'm just going to take a, little, take a little bit of red and add my texture paint to it. And then that will give it a nice thick feel to it. Good. So I'm just experimenting actually. See, it doesn't change the color much. Let's try, let's try one of these flowers. Let's just go with this one. Nice and thick, see? Makes it even stand out more. So nice to work with. See how bright they are? Isn't that pretty? Very nice. You can add some more wherever you want them. Just adding on the red paint with the texture. It almost makes it stand out. Oops. See that one there? How it stands out more? Try another one. So your red paint and your texture paint just all together. I'm just going to leave it almost separate just to see what it does. And I'm going to try one right here. Very nice. Look at that. So, 
so pretty to come out. See how they have these lines? And there we go. There we go. There's another one. Just want to try that again just to get some more oomph. I'm adding lots of paint on my brush. See? See how it just stands right out? Let's try one anywhere at all just to show you. I'm getting more texture paint. I want my red and I'm going to do that again. Look at that. Look at that. See that? No, you didn't see that, did you? There we go. See? So, you pick any flowers. If you want to do another one over here, which is already done, but I just want to add more to show you. Get more texture in there. You just touch and lift. The paint will actually lift. Nice. So that's texture paint. And I want to clean my brush off and try one of those flowers with the uh, Mother of Pearl. The Mother of Pearl. I'm going to take my red paint again. And I'm going to add my Mother of Pearl paint. Hmm. We don't want it to be too blurry, so I'll get out here. There's the Mother of Pearl right here. And there's my red paint. And as you can see, it didn't change the color very much. Just made it really shiny. See that shine? See? I added a bunch more. Look, and still didn't change the color very much. But it gave it a really nice shine. Let's try that. So let's put one right here. It's a little darker. But if you go over something like, say you already did an acrylic flower and uh, you can go back over it with your mother of pearl and that way you get to keep the underpainting there it just makes it prettier let's try something else how about up here let's say something here see yeah you can put them so you can still see what's underneath, but it'll shine it up for you. Put one right here. Now, see, because the green grass is underneath, it's not uh, coming out. But if you already have a red flower done, then you can just put it over it, and it'll make it shiny and bring it out even more. So, I mean, it's really nice. All these mediums are really nice if you want to try them out. Uh, you can buy them uh, online, I guess, at Amazon, and look, see how pretty that is? Just by using different mediums can help bring your paintings to life. This is about a yellow, a yellow flower, so I'm just going to take my regular uh, yellow paint. And I'm going to add my Mother of Pearl to my yellow paint. See how shiny that is now? Really nice. And then we're just going to add that to our flower. And that will bring that out more. It's nice to experiment with these things. Have a bit of fun with them. Good. And let's see what's over here. To make your acrylic paintings brighter, we already tried the oil over acrylics trick. That came out really nice. Now you're going to try different mediums. So say you have, you want a white, I'm going to leave my brush dirty. And this is just my white paint. And I'm going to add uh, my texture paint to it. Texture paste, I should say. So I'll add that. And just see what that looks like. Now it won't be shiny, but it'll it'll give it a thicker flower. I'm just gonna 
put that on there like that, just dab it on. It gives you a nice bright flower. And nice and thick. Thickens up your paint. There we go. So cool. So I must add the uh, texture paint again to my yellow and then I'm mixing it in and then I'm going to thicken this one up here there we go see so you can almost see you can almost see that it's just jumping out there we go see a little bit gone down there. Good. So you can use these mediums in your paintings just to make them look thicker, shinier, more colorful. So many different ways you can because acrylics like I say when they dry they dry sort of a dull color. So adding some varnish or oil paint over the it has to be dry when you do this okay your paintings have to be dry in order for this to work and this will enhance your acrylic paintings and make it a lot of fun for you let's try the uh beak just let's try the beak there we go let's put some let's see the, the um mother of pearl let's put the mother of pearl on our beak. So let's take our mother of pearl and add the red and to make an orangey color. And now that's nice and shiny. See how shiny it is? Let's see what that does. I love experimenting with different things. It's fun. That will bring that out more. Wow, look at that. When that dries, it'll dry nice and shiny. See, have a nice shine. Good. So I put the mother of pearl medium on the head and you can see now that it shines. See? Now the beak is not dry yet, but when it dries, it shines. See, it's almost sparkly. That'd probably be nice for some water too. Get some sparkles on your water, on your oceans and things. But you can see how it sparkles. Isn't that nice? The flowers are more thick with the with the um, texture paste. See how thick that one is there? Look, it's like some pesto. See, that's what this is what these mediums do. Look, see how thick those flowers are? If you want that in pastel look. See? Isn't that cool? Look at that. What a difference. Look at that one there. The grass is so much more thicker looking. When I use the impass when I use the uh, textured paste to add it to my green. But just look at the difference. It just really thickens everything up. Now you can see uh, the body of it, so it's dull, you know, and it's a nice color, isn't that? But look, it's dull, right? So I'm going to try to feed with that mother of pearl. So I have my mother of pearl right here. See how shiny it is? Look, it looks pearl looking. Isn't that pretty? Now you might say, well, what does it look like with no paint added to it? Well, I never tried it. Let's try. Uh, let's see. Let me put it over here. Hmm. It's clear. And that will put a shine on what you already have done. So we don't add any color to it. Just go over what you already have. Just put on only just the, uh, the mother of pearl. And put it on here. And that will great for um, 
great for adding. And you can also, because you can see through it, because it's transparent, you can add a little bit of color just to give it just a tiny bit. And what you can do is, because you can, it's transparent, you can add more color without losing your underpainting, or your painting I already have done. Without losing that, you can add a little more color to it. But you can see through it, it's wonderful. See, now we want to add more color. Just add, mix in more of your orange or brown or whatever you want to add extra color to. But like I say, because it is transparent, it will give you that nice change, a little bit of a change there. And it will make it nice and shiny. See? It's like a glaze, isn't it? So now I'm going to add more paint and see if we can get the feet. So I'm going to add my Mother of Pearl. And I'm going to add my lots of red and lots of yellow. So I get that to stand out. Because you don't want it to be transparent now, okay? So you want it transparent, just use the Mother of Pearl with very little paint or no paint. And then go over it so you can get a nice shiny look. That way you don't have to use oils if you don't like oils. Good. Now, see that? They're too red. Go back and clean off your brush and put a bit of yellow, maybe yellow, over it. So there we go. So, you know, you can play around with that. When that dries, it'll be nice and shiny. Yep, there we go. And we got some nice highlights of yellow, some stuff on there. Yellow and orange. There we go. You could even probably add a little bit of white. Clean off your brush, there was too much paint on it. You could even add a little bit of white with your mother of pearl. And. white. Might be getting a little bit of orange there, but that's okay. I'm going to lay that on there. Just touching. I'm just touching because I'm leaning over and making a mess. But anyway, so that'll give it a nice shiny look when that dries and I'll be able to show you. But you can see here, see how that shines now? And it gave a little more color to your your wood and the feet. You can see I made a mess here. All right. Look how shiny it is. Isn't that nice? But see how dull that is? Because that's not done. But I might put some on there now and just see what that looks like. Because that almost looks like the oil painting. Doesn't it? Okay, let's try the body. So say you don't want to enhance your colors, you're happy with your colors, just take your Mother of Pearl, medium, and just put only that on there. And that will be able, that will make a nice shiny look without changing uh, your colors. There we go. Now if you want to change your colors, you can add your browns to that, but I'm just trying another way. So now here. Now you can also do this with uh, Mod Podge. Podge. I, I've done, you know, a bunch of videos on different ways of uh, making your acrylic paintings stand out more. I've done the one with the uh, oil over acrylic. I, I'm doing uh, this one with mediums and Mod Podge really good way. Make sure your paints are dry though when you do this, okay? Like I say, if you want to enhance the colors instead of just making it shiny, you can make it shiny and enhance the colors. See? And that dries now. I'll be able to show you how that really shines. So let's try just for a bit of fun. 
to make these feathers stand out more. So let's use the textured paint this time. So the textured paste, I should say, not paint, it's a medium and it's textured. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the textured paint and I'm going to, so you can see it's very thick. And I'm going to, let's see, let's see, let's make some brown and some red to get something like that color there and some yellow. All right, so see that? Brown, I didn't mix it totally together. I'm going to add my textured paint to it, textured medium. I don't know why I keep saying that. And I'm just going to add that there to make it nice and thick. And then I'm going to pull over these just to see what happens. It will change it because you got it really thick, okay? Good, so just keep putting that on there. And add more texture if you want to thicken it up even more. There we go. Looks kind of white, so we're going to add some more color. But that will make it really thick. Good. So now we can finish up this with the mother of pearl to keep it nice and bright and shiny like the rest of it. And I'm just going to add the mother of pearl to <laughs> I'll get ya. I'm going to add that to my yellow. And I'm going to put some of that over here. To give it some a layer on top to make it look like feathers. So I'm very, doing it very gently just so I can get that to pop out. Yep, now see what I did underneath is dry so now I can do this and the mother of pearl makes it more transparent so it's a lot easier to put on and you can still see through it to see some of your darker feathers underneath. So it changed up a little bit, but you know, it depends. I like to practice. I like to experiment and have some fun with it. So it's, it's all good. All right, so that's a few things that you can do with your mediums. There's uh, all kinds of mediums out there that you can use in your acrylic paints. Like um, there's one here. This one is uh, called True Snow. So you can take that true snow and see how thick it is? It's just like snow. And you can, when you're doing acrylic painting with snow, you put that on top of it and it gives that really nice thick, really nice thick snow, like real snow. Look, look at that. How much fun you can have with your paints. Just because you're painting with acrylics don't mean you gotta not use anything else, just acrylics. Like I say, you can use oil over acrylics, you can use all the mediums that are at hand, you can add Mod Podge after it's all dry, or you can even add, I would say you could add Mod Podge to your paint, and then that would uh, make it nice and shiny also, and varnish. Now, that's that snowy stuff there. Let's see what that looks like. I don't have any snow, but let's just have a peep. Let's have a peep. Let's put it, I don't know, right here. But look, it just stands out. Something like the, um, something like the uh, textured paste. Isn't it? But you can use this for snow, and I guess for flowers, wherever you can find a place to put it. Look, it just stands, stands up. See, this is good for people who like to do in Paso and Paso paintings where you just use a palette knife and put on your paint like a palette knife. You can put a palette put on a palette knife uh, of and some textured paint. Ooh, blurry. Okay. And then you could use your palette knife then to put on your snow if you had snow here. We don't have snow, so I'm just gonna put it over the flower. But look, it makes it jump out. 
see. Let's see. So like I say, there's lots of things you can do to uh, have fun with your paintings. It's blurred up a little bit there on me. But if that focuses in, you'll be able to see how it's just standing right up. Focus in. There we go. So that's it for it now. And if I can come up with any more tricks and ideas and fun things to do, I will certainly let you know. And if you like this video, uh, you can leave a comment uh, down below. And uh, if you got any questions, just email me, alisonpriorayahoo.com, and I will see you in the next video.